all right, your document should look like this. We are working with the pen tool, but instead of just doing straight lines as we've been doing with the pen tool, today we are going to look at what else it can do. By the way, the pen tool is called the drawing tool in Illustrator because you can pretty much draw anything you want with the pen tool. Doesn't mean that it's better than using shapes. It just means that it's very versatile and it does a lot with just one tool. Okay, so let's talk about how to make these smooth points or these curved points. Let's go to view. Let's go to view one. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more and bring it right here to the center. Okay, so I'm going to use my wide arrow and just click here. And as you notice, we have one, two, three, four, five, six anchor points. Now, it doesn't mean that that's all we have. We can add as many as we want to this line. So to do that, instead of you grabbing the pen tool and just, you know, clicking wherever you want, you can just have Illustrator give you some default options of where to add anchor points. And it's going to do an anchor point right here in the middle of each one of them. So let me show you how that works. Go to object path and then anchor add anchor points and notice how it gave us more anchor points right in the center of all of the ones we already had. So instead of just having six, now we have all of these added. So, all right, now let's click on our anchor point tool right here and let's click on the new anchor points that were just added. So that includes this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And notice how it's turning it to a corner anchor point. And before it was a smooth anchor point, meaning it was rounded and not anymore see it doesn't give me any handles anymore like these do because these are smooth anchor points so here you have these handles that you can move around this one doesn't because we converted it to a corner anchor point okay let's go back to our anchor point tool and now let's click on all the other ones and notice that it's now turning every single one to corner anchor points and it just gives us this like a little mountain range. Okay, but that's not all the anchor point tool can do. It can also convert from a corner anchor point to a smooth or rounded anchor point. And you don't just click on this one. You have to click, hold, and drag. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that with the middle one first. So let's click, hold, and drag, and let's drag this right here to the purple star. Cool, now let's do that for the rest. Click, hold, and drag, and there you go. And let's do this for the last one. Click, hold, and here's the, here's the thing. If you go this way, oh, you gotta go the other way. See, so you gotta work around with this. Gotta experiment, and it's going to work. All right, okay, let's go to view two. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. All right, so we have, we have curvature, and then we have straight lines, but we're just going to use the pen tool for this. So let's go ahead and grab that. All right, with the pen tool selected, click, and then hold it, and then drag down here, and then you get a curvature line or a smooth anchor point. And then you click here, of course, then drag it up so that you have this curvature. And you might have to modify it a little bit. These stars are just kind of as a guide. All right. So now that we have that, we'll come back and fix all of this. But once we do a curvature here or a smooth point, um, how do we get back to just the regular straight line? See how your pen tool looks right now and notice how it's going to change once I get to the anchor point. See how it has that upside down V, which is the same thing as the anchor point tool, right? Okay, so, so all you got to do is click here and it's back to a straight line. Click here and don't hold, just click once, perfect. Okay, but again, you're, but we're back into this straight line. So what you do is you go back here and you click and drag. And now you have a curvature. Click and drag. Oh, we got, we got a problem once again. Go back here, click. It's a straight line. Oh, I shouldn't click and hold there. I had to just click, right? So I have a straight line. Now I go back. Click and hold, click here, click and hold, and move it up here. Escape, so I get out of my pen tool, I grab my white arrow, and I'm now just going to make sure that I have all of this going the right way by clicking the handles and making sure 
All of this is perfectly made. This one was a little bit too low, so I'm going to bring this one down. Grab the handle, move it up, click here. Here's my handle. Might have to move this one here. There we go. Then move this one just a little bit more. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. Make sure that you don't do this same mistake that I just made. I had my fill as white, and I should have it as blank. There we go. Okay, so that was one of the issues I had. So make sure you don't do that same mistake that I did. Awesome. So click on view three, and now we have these upside down U's, like a little upside down wave. Maybe you were drawing a cloud. I don't know. Maybe you're drawing some waves in the ocean, and they keep getting larger as you go to the right. Pen tool. Click, drag, click, drag up, and then, oops, check this out. How do we get this to go the other way around? Very simple. We're going to click on Alt on our keyboard. That should turn our pan tool to the anchor point tool. Notice that? Then I'm going to click here and then bring this down. See? Now I have my path going the other way. So I'm going to do that one more time so you see it. Back here, made this outline. And then I had this issue, right? So click Alt, click on the anchor point, and then bring it down. There we go. Uh, let's keep it going. See? Same problem again. Click Alt. Bring that handle down. Perfect. Again, same issue. Alt. Bring that oh, Bring that anchor point down. Bam. And one more time. Alt. Bring it down here. Bring that handle down. And then click here. And then now let's click Escape. Wide arrow. Because we don't have to be perfect the first time. Click here. Let's fix all of these. 